Hello everyone, it's Terry of Danu's Irish Herb Garden and um, I'm so excited today because I'm in the polytunnel. Finally dragged myself outside to do some work here and it's just such a thrill to get back into the gardening and get my hands in the soil. Already I've filled this black bin with um, plants that I've taken out, uh, the weeding that I've done and lemon branches that I've had to cut back and um, I've got tons more to do which is fantastic it really does improve your mind and your mood and everything it's just fantastic I'm so thrilled to be back here and there's nothing stopping me before except for myself and look at all the carrots there's some um, a few carrots that I've pulled up so there's still a lot to be gleaned from here even though I've done absolutely nothing in the last probably three months I'm ashamed to say but yesterday I was here and I've dug everything out of this bed um, I had some odd little bits of beetroot and some calendula and there's still a little bit of kale there um, I've tidied it up I've weeded it hoed it given the soil a bit of aeration and now I've covered it with really lovely gloopy seaweed that is very smelly and quite rotten which is perfect so that is going to rot down and bring in lots of nutrients and minerals and then in a few weeks time I will cover it with um, my own compost and then we can start planting into it so I've decided because there are so many herbs on this section already that I'm just going to make this a herb bed completely so we have um, lemon balm here and I'm going to put another three or four plants around for them to grow into a lovely big bush as the sage has because lemon balm is a wonderful antiviral and it makes a lovely refreshing tea just to enjoy it for its taste. I've got some fever few there. I've got lots outside so I won't put any more of that in. Down here we've got thyme. Again, it's an antiviral. It's going to help with coughs and colds and flus. Like the sage, the sage is very good for sore throats. There's a little bit of more thyme there. And there's beautiful rosemary, which was massive yesterday. And I've cut it down from about here down because it was just becoming unmanageable. And it was beginning to encroach on this lemon verbena which absolutely smells divine. It's kind of like a lemon sherbet smell. Mm -mm. Oh, if we had video aromas, you'd be able to smell it yourself. It's gorgeous. And rosemary is so beneficial because not just for culinary purposes, but it's brilliant for um, headaches, for the mind, for the heart. It's got lots of really beneficial properties and lots of ways to be used. So I've got to the end of this bed and I'm turning around now. I've got another bed, another container there filled with stuff that I'm taking out. And I'm cleaning down all the netting where there were runner beans last year and um, getting rid of all the bits and pieces that could cause disease later. I just want to show you the lemon tree. It is really, really big. And I've cut down a lot of it, as you saw at the front there. But I bought this little tree when it was a tiny thing in a supermarket, never expecting it to grow, but it is growing magnificently. Unfortunately, I've had to cut it, even though you shouldn't prune it. Apparently, lemon shouldn't really be pruned, but I've had to cut it because it was creating a lot of um, darkness in this area and I need to get the light through. So this time last year, we had about six lemons. If you look back at my blog for last February, we had about six big juicy lemons and we have had several throughout the year, but nothing like last year. So I'm doing something wrong. If anybody knows anything about caring for lemon trees, please leave a comment. Um, I have fed it with Epsom salts to give it a bit of magnesium because sometimes the leaves are going yellow. 
Um, I don't know what else. I know there's a citrus feed, but I don't like to buy commercial things. I like to make my own compost and my own compost tea and all that kind of thing. So I'd be grateful for any advice. Because I do love the idea of having lemons because they're such a weapon in the battle against <coughs> disease and illness because they're antimicrobial and they're antiseptic and um, we all know how beneficial they are when we need to gargle or if we've got a bit of a cold. So there you go. So a lot more work to do. I'm coming up this side and I will work my way up to this lavender bush which is very dormant at the moment but it will come back and I'm very glad to see that I have um, Californian poppy a little bit down there which has self-seeded and I know there's lots more in this bed that self-seeded because it went crazy last year And the celery here still to be harvested. So lots to do and I just can't wait to get stuck into it and get all my seeds um, purchased. I have a lot of seeds in the house but I buy seeds every year from Irish Seed Savers because they provide open pollinated organic heritage seeds that are suitable for the Irish climate. And I just think it's a brilliant charity to support anyway. So that's it for now. I've got to get back to work while the, the mood is on me to really get stuck in. And um, I hope you're enjoying your gardening. And as I say, please, if you know anything about lemon trees, do let me know. And um, maybe you can subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Bye for now.